Hello friends, welcome back to Cosmopolitan Cornbread. My name is Constance and this is the Shabbat scripture reading, the scriptures for Saturday. You can get the entire week's schedule for free on my website, cosmopolitancornbread.com. There is a text version of the entire week's schedule as well as a PDF that you can download, save to your device, or print out. And I update that page every single week with the new week's schedule. So before I get started, we will go ahead and thank the Lord for his scriptures and um, just kind of prepare our hearts to read his word. Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who gives the Torah truth and the good news of salvation to your people Israel, and to all people, through your Son, Yeshua the Messiah, our Lord and Savior. Amen. So our scripture reading is going to begin in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 20 and verse 10. And the version of the Bible that I'm reading from today is the CJB. It's the complete Jewish Bible. I use the study version. Um, of course, it is not just for Jewish people. It just contains uh, essays and articles and information about uh, traditions and cultural uh, relevancy to help us understand or better understand what we're reading. Deuteronomy chapter 20 starting in verse 10. When you advance on a town to attack it, first offer it terms for peace. If it accepts the terms for peace and opens its gates to you, then all the people there are to be put to forced labor and work for you. However, if they refuse to make peace with you, but prefer to make war against you, you are to put it under siege. When Adonai your God hands it over to you, you are to put every male to the sword. However, you are to take as booty for yourself the women, the little ones, the livestock, and everything in the city, all its spoil. Yes, you will feed on your enemy's spoil, which Adonai your God has given you. This is what you are to do to all of the towns which are at a great distance from you, which are not the towns of these nations. As for the towns of these peoples, which Adonai your God is giving you as your inheritance, you are not to allow anything that breathes to live. Rather, you must destroy them completely. The Hittai, the Amorai, the Kenani, the Perizzi, the Hivai, the, H the Yavuzi, as Adonai your God has ordered you so that they won't teach you to follow their abominable practices which they do for their gods, thus causing you to sin against Adonai your God. When in making war against a town in order to capture it, you lay siege to it for a long time, you are not to destroy its trees, cutting them down with an axe. You can eat their fruit, so don't cut them down. After all, are the trees in the field human beings, so that you have to besiege them too? However, if you know that certain trees provide no food, you may destroy them and cut them down in order to build siege works against that town, making war with you until it falls. If in the land Adonai your God is giving you to possess, a murder victim is found lying in the countryside and the perpetrator of the murder is not known, then your leaders and judges are to go out and measure the distance between the murder victim and the surrounding towns. After it has been determined which town is the closest, the leaders of that town are to take a young female cow that has never been put to work or yoked for use as a draft animal. The leaders of that town are to bring the heifer down to a vadi with a stream in it that never dries up to a place that is neither plowed nor sown, and they are to break the cow's neck there in the vadi. Then the Kohanim who are living are to approach, for Adonai your God has chosen them to serve him and to pronounce blessings in the name of Adonai. They will decide the outcome of every dispute and matter involving violence. All the leaders of the town nearest the murder victim are to wash their hands over the cow whose neck was broken in the vadi. Then they are to speak up and say, This blood was not shed by our hands, nor have we seen who did it. Adonai, forgive your people Israel, whom you redeemed. Do not allow innocent blood to be shed among your people Israel, and they will be forgiven this bloodshed. Thus you will banish the shedding of the innocent blood from among you by doing what Adonai sees as right. Next we're going to read in the book of Isaiah, chapter 51, starting in verse 12, and we'll read through chapter 52, verse 12. 12 to 12. I, yes I, 
in the one who comforts you. Why are you afraid of a man who must die, of a human being who will wither like grass? You have forgotten, Adonai, your maker, who stretched out the heavens and laid the foundations of the earth. Instead, you are in constant fear all day because the oppressor's rage as he prepares to destroy. But where is the oppressor's rage? The captive will soon be set free. He will not die and go down to Sheol. On the contrary, his food supply will be secure. For I am Adonai your God, who stirs up the sea, who makes its waves roar. Adonai Tzvaot is my name. I have put my words in your mouth and covered you with the shadow of my hand in order to plant the skies anew, lay the foundations of the earth anew, and say to Zion, you are my people. Awake, awake, stand up, Jerusalem. At Adonai's hand you drank the cup of his fury. You have drained to the dregs the goblet of drunkenness. There is no one to guide her among all the sons she has borne. Not one of all the children she raised is taking her by the hand. These two disasters have overcome you, yet who will grieve with you? Plunder and destruction, famine and sword, by whom can I comfort you? Your children lie helpless at every street corner, like an antelope trapped in a net. They are full of Adonai's fury, the rebuke of your God. Therefore, please hear this in your affliction, you who are drunk, but not with wine. This is what your Lord Adonai says, your God who defends his people. Here I have removed from your hand the cup of drunkenness, the goblet of my fury. You will never drink it again. I will put it in the hands of your tormentors, who said to you, Bend down so we can trample you, and flatten your back on the ground like a street for them to walk on. Awake, awake, Zion. Clothe yourself with your strength. Dress in your splendid garments, Jerusalem, the holy city. For the uncircumcised and the unclean will enter you no more. Shake off the dust, arise. Be enthroned, Jerusalem. Loosen the chains on your neck, captive daughter of Zion. For thus says Adonai, you were sold for nothing, and you will be redeemed without money. For thus says Adonai Elohim, Long ago my people went down to Egypt to live there as aliens, and Asher oppressed them for no reason. So now what should I do here, asks Adonai, since my people were carried off for nothing. Their oppressors are howling, says Adonai, and my name is always being insulted daily. Therefore my people will know my name. Therefore on that day they will know that I, the one speaking, here I am. How beautiful on the mountains are the feet of him who brings good news, proclaiming shalom, bringing good news of good things, announcing salvation, and saying to Zion, Your God is king. Listen, your watchmen are raising their voices, shouting for joy together. For they will see before their own eyes Adonai returning to Zion. Break out into joy. Sing together, you ruins of Jerusalem. For Adonai has comforted his people, he has redeemed Jerusalem. Adonai has bared his holy arm in the sight of every nation, and all the ends of the earth will see the salvation of our God. Leave, leave, get out of there. Don't touch anything unclean. Get out from inside it and be clean, you who carry Adonai's temple equipment. You need not leave in haste. You do not have to flee, for Adonai will go ahead of you and the God of Israel will also be behind you. And finally, we're going to turn to the second book of Thessalonians, and we are going to read chapter 1. From Shaul, Sila, and Timothy, to the Messianic community of the Thessalonians, united with God our Father and the Lord Yeshua the Messiah, grace to you and shalom from God the Father and the Lord Yeshua the Messiah. We have to keep thanking God for you always, brothers, as is appropriate, because your trust continues to grow greater, and the love you each have for one another continues to increase. Therefore we boast about you in the congregations of God, because of your perseverance and trust in all the persecutions and troubles you are going through. This is clear evidence that God's judgment is just, and as a result you will be counted worthy of the kingdom of God for which you are suffering. For it is justice for God to pay back trouble to those who are troubling you, and to give rest along with us to you who are being troubled. 
when the Lord Yeshua is revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in a fiery flame. Then he will punish those who don't know God, that is, those who don't listen to the good news of our Lord Yeshua and obey it. They will suffer the just penalty of eternal destruction, far away from the face of the Lord and the glory of his might. On that day when he comes to be glorified by his holy people and admired by all who have trusted, you will be among them because you trusted our witness to you. With this in view, we always pray for you that our God may make you worthy of his calling and may fulfill by his power every good purpose of yours in every action stemming from your trust. In this way, the name of our Lord Yeshua will be glorified in you and you in him in accordance with the grace of our God and the Lord Yeshua the Messiah. That is the scripture reading for today. Again, you can get the entire week's schedule on my website. I have a link down below in the video description for that page. And the sun is super bright right now. Um, so let's finish off with some prayer. Father Adonai, Abba, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your word. We ask you to bless us, Father, with your wisdom, with eyes to see the things that you would have us to see, Father. Help us to walk according to your word and according to your will. Help us to shine the light that you give us to the world that is in darkness. Help us to speak your words. Help us to be a blessing to others. Lord, help your daughters to show grace and, and compassion. Father, bless your sons, the men, to rise up as warrior priests leading their home, leading their families, protecting their souls. Father, we ask you to strengthen us in these days to live according to your word and to share the gospel with the lost. In the name of Yeshua, I pray. Amen. Have a great week and Shabbat Shalom.